Hi all. Today we will see how to design and model a uh, boost regulator using Simulink. And uh, and uh, I can see in this the this is the boost regulator circuit diagram. And uh, for uh, modeling it, we require a DC source, an inductor, a switch. We'll use MOSFET as a switch, and a diode, a capacitor, and a resistor. And the design requirements are we need an output voltage of 30 volt with an input given 12 volt. Output voltage ripple should be within 1 percent. Load resistance you can take it as 50 ohm. For boost regulator equation, is output voltage is given by Vs divided by 1 minus D. So, solving that we get D as 0.6. And uh, L minimum from this equation, the design equation, we can find with uh, selecting the switching frequency F as 25 kilohertz if you are selecting like that l minimum will get it as 96 minutes so it can be go up to say 120 micro entry and uh, current inductor current uh, equation we know and the capacitance voltage you know the equation and see from that uh, z uh, c greater than or equal to d by r into delta v naught by v naught into f so solving that we will get it as 48 mu so these are the parameters what that we are going to use in the model that is ls 120 mu h c is 48 mu f d of the pulse generator as 0.6 load resistance 50 okay now we'll directly move on to the matlab in the matlab bus you can click on either uh, uh, you can start the simulink by clicking on this icon simulink icon or else type in the command window as simulink and uh, go to a blank model okay now we will uh, select uh, the required uh, elements like uh, dc voltage this is the dc voltage source then uh, we require mosfet you can type it mosfet MOSFET switch you can see here in one diode we require either type it here or else bring it from the drag and drop here from the library browser then we require a current measurement device okay and an voltage measurement device also and then uh, we need a DC supply is there we need the power GUI block in order to model while we do the modeling of electrical uh, sim power systems or uh, sims systems we need a power gui block in order to initiate that so that is bring uh, that is brought here uh, mosfet is here and the diode is there run measurement voltage measurement next is the series rlc elements we require we require three of them with the R element as per our design R is 50 ohm so we make it as 50 parameter value okay and L L as 120 mu h no so it is mu h and another one is C that is the designed value was C designed it for 48 mu of no okay so 48 okay we will complete the wiring as per this circuit diagram okay voltage inductor like that okay here there is the inductor source we will flip it I mean rotate it sorry rotate it okay so connect it like this and there is a load resistor this also we will flip this also we need to rotate Okay. 
and we need a diode you don't need the measurement port actually there avoid that okay connected back circuit this is the voltage source voltage uh, measurement so connect it across the output voltage in order to measure the output voltage then we need one more display so that does display is connected and here we need to connect the coping switch there we need a pulse generator we will connect the pulse generator okay set all values accordingly now we will adjust the pulse generator okay it does 25 1 by 25k and uh, we need to measure the current also so that we will put a display now we will need a scope here so we will bring a scope we will make it the number of inputs let it be 3 and the layout let it be like this ok connect this in such a way that this first put to first input to the pulse generator second one to the current and this the voltage output voltage okay and uh, scroll let us once again check this k16 okay, okay. Now let us run it. You can see the output voltage. It is around 30 and current taken 0.59 and around. You will see the ripples in the voltage and current waveform triples also we need to check thus you can adjust by the axis range also you can adjust I simply scaling the axis now ok so this current you can see it is in between say 0 0.5822 0 0.588 around and voltage ripple in the range 29.1 to 29.4 okay in the appearance of all these graphs and all these things you can change as you want okay so now this is a boost regulator because we are giving only 12 volt input we are getting as per design we are getting around 30 volt okay minute changes are there that we can adjust with by adjusting some parameters or else we can make it a perfect uh, 30 volt by giving a feedback okay and uh, very similar to this before uh, moving to the next uh, let us change this pulse a generator duty ratio or pulse with uh, say 60 percent to say 80 percent if we change what change happens just run it you can see output voltage increases to 58 okay and uh, once we change the duty ratio instead of 80 to say 40 okay, it again changes to say 12 volt to around 20 volt now okay 
now we will see a boost regulator instead of boost regulator we will see a bug boost regulator okay now we will see a bug boost regulator this is a bug boost regulator you know the bug boost regulator circuit diagram is this okay with output voltage 16 in input voltage 24 to get a output voltage 16 we require ds.4 lc parameters are shown there as per design now we'll see the now we'll run it for one second you can see design was 16 volt it is 15.31 negative sign you know buck boost converter it output polarity will be just opposite to the input okay input was 12 volt sorry 24 volt but the output is 16 that is our design no so pulse generator was input given as say 40 with this given let us change it to say 60 we'll check whether it is working as a boost regulator then okay it is getting higher than the input 24 it is now 36 around output voltage waveform you can check for okay these are the output uh, this is the rip voltages i mean uh, pulse vol pulse voltages and uh, the pulse width are shown then this is the voltage and the those last one that is the current waveform so this is a bug boost converter okay in this was a buck regulator and uh, we see this circuit uh, does with the amplitude 20 volt input dc mm. pulse generator frequency was 1 by uh, frequency was 10k in pulse with the duty ratio taken as 50 see it does designed value was 10 but it is getting it as say 9.587 so how do we make it into closed loop? It's an open loop system. How do we make it into closed loop system that is being shown in this circuit? Okay. What other thing we additionally put in this are here? Uh, first of all, we bought a PID controller here that you can simply type by PID controller. You get a PID controller there. Just uh, double click on that you get the block parameters you can adjust for okay and uh, i made it as simply pi alone pd alone, uh, parameters has been removed controller is made as i alone okay a value is only given that's all okay we need actually pi only not uh, differential controller is not required so that is this okay and uh, this is an adder okay we need to i mean comparator actually we need we are reference input we are giving as 10 and what is the actual output it is taken back and uh, this error is fed to the integrator i mean uh, pa controller the controller integral controller and its output uh, the integral controller output or error with the controlled version of that is being used for generating the PWM instead of pulse generator which actually do not require an input here we need uh, it is a, a reference signal is required for generating a PWM no? so a PWM generator is used with the same frequency when 10k okay and it is given to the MOSFET okay so let us see while running it what all thing happen you can see it is very much close to 10 now no and uh, that's it